let's start the day off right huh and have a lovely cup of tea because yeah you know hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video if you can't tell by the title we are going to be playing with a brand new collection i am excited this arrived today for me today and of course i decided to to get it and yeah and i'm excited to play with it so if you can't tell by the title we're going to be playing with the brand new beauty bay new romantic palette and collection yeah new romantic collection the so beauty bay have launched a new pal like a new collection um which is i'm guessing like valentine's day themed i'm pretty sure it is i'm excited um so they've launched a palette and they've also launched some new liquid crystal eyeshadows so of course i picked up the whole collection because who wouldn't it is gorgeous so we're going to be testing out these products today and um yeah we'll just get straight on into it because there's nothing else for me to say okay so let's start off with what the palette looks like so this is the packaging uh, it is beautiful i'm guessing this is like a rose like flowers that's what i'm kind of seeing from the packaging it is beautiful this is just the outer box but it's so pretty and then you open up the box it does come wrapped in bubble wrap but i took mine out beforehand because sometimes you just gotta save some time you know you just gotta save some time and this is the palette now the out outside obviously is this beautiful baby pink color it has got new romantic and on the obviously on the packaging that's the name of the palette on the new romantic like there is that beautiful like flower design pattern there it is beautiful so yes then you open her up and she looks like this isn't she just stunning like look at them shades there is a lot of beautiful like red pinky peach shades warm tone browns oh there's just so much goodness in here it just makes me want to put it on my eyeballs right now which is what we're gonna do <laughs> so yeah let me just give you a little bit of a um, insight to the palette beauty bay just recently started doing just from like late last year they started doing these 20 pan palettes and honestly they are beautiful i just whacked myself in the face <laughs> uh, honestly they are beautiful i first got the sunset horizon palette which they launched which was gorgeous i have reviewed it I've, i'll link it in the cards if i can remember and then they also came out with like a book book of magic book of spells i can't remember i can't remember what it's called i always get the name wrong i'll link that up in the cards as well um and they the formula of these 20 pan palettes i don't know what it is i don't know whether i think they've, i'm pretty sure they've changed the formula of the shimmers from like their old palettes um and the shimmers in these palettes are just something else. I don't know what it is, but they are beautiful. So stunning. Um, I Don't get me wrong, I love their like big palettes, you know, like their uh, everything you need palettes, like their identity palette, their like their bright matte palette, that kind of thing. I love them palettes, but I like their bright palettes. Um, but the shimmers in there, they aren't, I'm gonna be 100% honest, the shimmers in them ones, they aren't as good as the shimmers in these ones and like the shimmers in like the Nikki palette and the shimmers in the Mitchell palette like they aren't the same level as the shimmers in these kind of palettes so I love that they've tried to change the formula the mattes are very very similar I'm not gonna lie they're still creamy it's still blendable but I don't know what it is like these 20 pan palettes they just draw me in so this is what we have got today it is gorgeous gorgeous if I didn't say before this palette is for 15 pounds on the Beauty Bay website 15 pounds for 20 shades it's really good really good price really good price price point i love beauty base price point i think that they are always always like affordable um and they're always really good quality as well so i, I i'm expecting nothing less from this palette but this is what the palette looks like isn't it stunning look at that it's just beautiful it's beautiful um so yeah this palette is also cruelty free and vegan um yes we're gonna get straight into it okay so we're gonna swatch this palette now because i'm excited i usually swatch these palettes sometimes i don't fully swatch all my palettes that i get sometimes if i'm doing an eyeshadow review i prefer to just 
you know, just do it, just get into it. But we're gonna swatch this whole palette because I'm excited. Okay, so we have the first row swatched. They swatch really nicely. So we have the shade Vanilla, Birthday, Oyster, Flamingo, and Lingerie. These are all one swipe. Look at that shimmer in the middle. Also, this creamy shade actually swatches quite pigmented on me, especially because I am very pale. Here we have the second row, very pigmented, very pigmented. Oh, so I've got some eyeshadow on my finger. So we have the for the shade Milkshake, Chintz. I'm not too sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Chintz, Chintz, yeah. <laughs> we then have the shade Claret, Queen, and Smoothie. Oh, look at them shimmers. Even the shades are like, mm, like this. This, this shade here. Moving on to the fourth, the third row, sorry. We have the shade Penny. Then we have the shade Embers. Raspberry. Mars. And Royal. That purple is beautiful. All them shades are so pigmented. So pigmented. Okay, moving on to the last row we have a different a very different like color story here for the last row um very different but also very beautiful as well so we have the shade muffin khaki now this is definitely like a khaki goldy like khaki golden shade i would say and it's very unique it's also quite different to put in a palette that's like very very like red pink inspired do you know what i mean we then have the shade Saddle, Valentine, Beautiful Plum Shade, and then Ink. All these are one swipe. Can I just say this black? For one swipe, swatched, swatched really well. Quite crumbly, but it's a black. Like, I completely understand it being a little bit more on the crumbly side, but for one swipe, it was very pigmented. Again, it could be difficult to work with on the lid. I'm not too sure. We will, we will see. I might not use it today, but yeah. Obviously there's a lot of shades in here, I can't use all the shades from one palette. Okay, so let's quickly look at the liquid crystal eyeshadows now. So this is a pack of three, you can buy these individually as well. They are £6 each, I believe. However, the trio is £15, so you are saving about £3, I think it is, if my maths is correct. I don't know, my maths is awful, so correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. So these are like their liquid, I'm pretty sure these are the, yeah, these are the liquid crystal eyeshadows. Now these have had an upgrade in packaging. These are now like a circular kind of packaging. Really pretty. Their old ones look like this. The ones like in this kind of packaging. I'm guessing they'll be the same kind of formula. Um, but obviously this has Living My Best Light on it. This is from like a different collection. So I'm not too sure whether they just decided just not to do, because this is a different collection, whether they just decided to do different kind of packaging for it. I'm not 100% sure. So you do get three shades, um, all on the like pinky, plummy, purpley kind of side. Really pretty. So we have the shade Morganite. Let me see what the description of each shade is because I'm intrigued to see what they're described as on the website. So the first shade Morganite, this is described as a fuchsia with a subtle gold shift i can't even get the thing out looks like this let me swatch it Ooh. that's gorgeous we then have the next shade i'm going like lightest to darkest by the way guys that's what i'm doing so the next shade we have is carnelian carnelian it looks like chameleon but it's not Carn carnelian i'm not too sure what this is what that says but yeah and um, this is the shade this is a deep berry shade with a subtle pink and gold glitter so it looks like this let me swatch it they're all quite like deep shades so that is the second shade very gorgeous very pretty and the last shade we have we have the shade sardinox sardinix sardinox this is a soft berry with gold and silver fleck so it's quite a deep shade this one and it is a yeah it's a deep berry oh a soft berry 
but it's, it's deep and it, you can still see them the gold um, and silver flecks in it. They're all really beautiful. The top one is probably my favourite, but I really like the look of these. They swatch amazingly. Um, I would say that they basically are the liquid crystal eyeshadows. I don't think they I don't think they've changed formula. However, they might have done. I'm not too sure as of just watching it. So yeah. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm just gonna prime my lids, zoom you guys in, and then we're gonna get into testing the palette. I might try out one of the liquid crystal eyeshadows. Depends how I feel. Sometimes I feel like testing them. Sometimes I don't. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead just do my primer and then I'll zoom you guys in and we'll get into testing the palette. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've literally just primed my lids, zoomed you guys in, of course. I prime my lids using the a the Revolution Ultimate Eye Base. I, I just want to say ABH Eye Primer, like I don't know what that is, but yeah, I've been using this. Been loving this, you guys will see me just use it constantly because yeah, it's my absolute favourite at the minute. So yeah, literally just prepped and primed my lids. They're ready for the eyeshadow of the day. I'm excited. So, jumping into this beautiful palette, I'm going to take the shade Clarette because this shade is calling my name. Of course I'm going to take it. Of course. So I'm literally just going to start to pack that through the crease. Look how gorgeous that shade is. Oh. A little bit of kick up and a little bit of fallout with this shade but nothing I mean I, I expected it look at that shade it's a beautiful like I want to say it's like almost like a deep raspberry pink shade, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, and then I'm going to dip into the shade Milkshake because it's also calling me and yeah, I have to take it. I have to take it, of course I do. Of course. And I'm just going to start to blend out the edges. Again, this shade has a little bit of fallout. Um, so easy, it's like their shadows are so easy to work with, so easy to blend out. It's like, it's like you barely need any effort. Like it's just, it's amazing. I love their eyeshadows. I'm then gonna take um, I'll take birthday or flamingo. I'm gonna take uh, fl flamingo first. This shade here. I'm just gonna blend on the edges. To be honest, flamingo and birthday are very like similar. Um. Ah, oh, do you see that? Beauty Bay, you guys just constantly kill it. Look at that. So I'm just, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do what I usually do. I'm just gonna go off camera, build these three shades up. I don't think I wanna add any other shades, like um, other deep like shades or anything like that right now i'm quite happy with how it's looking i might come back and add a little bit of black depends how i feel um but yeah right now i'm happy with how this is looking so i'm just going to build these shades up one more time blend them out cut my crease and then we will do the lid shade together and again i might use one of the liquid crystal eyeshadows that we have in the new collection as well so yeah i'll be right back okay so i'm back as you can see oh my god i literally did like a hard cut crease like this was so hard to do you guys like i don't know how people do it and make it perfect mine aren't perfect but we're here they are sisters not twins even then twins are not identical so moving on to the lid i don't know what shade to take i had a bit of a melt lot down before <laughs> um i'm feeling to take this shade here 
I want, you know what, I think we're going to go for this shade. That is the shade Chinst. Chinst. Yeah, we're going to use this. It looks gorgeous. Like, honestly, how can I not use it? So I'm going to start to pick up that shade. I'm just using a Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH42 to pick this shade up. I'm not too sure if it'll pick it up fine. I'm going to try a different brush. I feel like I'm not struggling, but I'm going to use a Morphe R42 brush this time. Sometimes I just like feel like some brushes don't pick them up as well. I think I will need that other brush though when I come to... For me, it's use my finger. Let's try my finger. Let's see. My fingers are freezing. I feel like my fingers doing a better job. Again, it's just hard because the way the the way my cut crease is, it's like That shade is stunning, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I want to go in with a liquid crystal eyeshadow, like around the outer edge. Um, so I'm going to take, oh, what shade do I take? That looks pretty. Hmm. We're going to take this one. I don't know if this is going to like ruin the look or what not. Um, I don't think it will, I think it'll be nice. Yeah, I'm just gonna take it on an angled brush first. Then, if not, I have got like a small little brush here. If you can even see that, yeah, like that. It's quite tiny. Um, but I want to take it on the, lang the angled liner brush first. I'm just gonna put it like on the outer edge of the cut crease. I'm just, using a I'm just using a different brush now. This is the Morphe X Jeffree Star brush, the JS14 one. It's quite a small one as well. My other little brush is just kind of, um, it's lost its shape a bit, so it's not as like thin. And it's got quite a few like sparse little hairs that obviously I don't really want. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead just finish this eye off camera, do my base, everything, my lashes, that kind of thing, and then I'll be back to kind of give you guys my final thoughts on what I think on the collection. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay guys, this is the finished look. What do you guys think? I really like it. I really like it. I think it is I think it is gorge. I think it is gorgeous. Um so I am wearing a few of the beat beat favourites on my face right now and so i am wearing the bronzer in the shade fawn and i'm wearing the blush in the shade blossom and then i'm wearing the lip gloss in the shade candy so yes literally look how gorgeous this look is it is gorgeous so yeah what do you guys think do you like the look let me know okay so let's talk about the products that i obviously used i used the palette and then i used one of the liquid crystal eyeshadows so let's talk about the palette first First of all, I would say it's the same formula as that other palettes that are like in this shape size with the amount of shades in there. Um, so the mattes that I used, of course, they built up, blend out beautifully. I had no issues with any of the mattes. They work like an absolute dream. Um, the shimmer, I only obviously used one shimmer. I'll have to play around with some of the more with some more of the shimmers. But the shimmer that I did use is gorgeous. It, packed on well it, I did struggle a little bit with the using it with a brush but the more that I kind of like dipped in there and packed it on it did uh, apply beautifully so um 
it just took a little bit of work but obviously you can use your finger obviously because of the cut crease that I did it was a bit difficult to kind of use my finger um but the more that I like packed it on and stuff it started to pack on fine so um yeah no complaints there the shade is gorgeous as you can see yeah I literally love this palette I think this palette is beautiful very valentine's day themed I love the shades in here I love how you can definitely get more of like a pink berry kind of look like I've done or you can definitely go more neutral and I also love how there's this khaki shade here like I think it's so I wouldn't have put this kind of shade in a palette however I feel like it works and yeah it is such a gorgeous palette so beautiful Um, no complaints it's nice as well because you can get like a more everyday look because there is these like warm tone browns and there is this like gold shade there so it'd be nice for like an everyday look but you can also jazz it up and go hot pink like me so yeah um so for 15 pounds i do highly recommend this palette i think it is beautiful i literally love it moving on to the liquid crystal eyeshadows obviously i only used one today i used the shade morganite I, I don't know if i actually mentioned that when i came to apply it i'm really sorry if i didn't but yeah, i used the shade morganite to like outline the heart cut crease and it is beautiful it was really easy to apply it's not cracked it looks stunning on i love it it is beautiful obsessed i love their liquid crystal eyeshadows anyway and i do think that these are going to be the same formula this one is beautiful so easy to apply so easy to work with so if you are wanting to pick up one of these i highly recommend them like i said you are going to get a bit more of a deal if you purchase the them like all together the trio rather than separately but if you just want to buy them separately they are six pounds each so they're still really affordable to be honest with you really affordable so yeah i really hope you enjoyed today's video guys if you did please remember to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as it would really help me out if you want me to do another look using this palette let me know because I'll, I'll do that for you guys just let me know let me know and yes as always, I'll be linking everything else that I'm wearing in the description box down below in case you guys are interested. And as always, of course, I'll be linking my social media handles above and also in the description box down below in case you want to follow me there. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!